gorgeous. I'm the Fairy Voice Mother and today I'm going to be reacting to D-Lo singing Sing A Little Harmony. Doesn't that sound fun? D-Lo has come up hundreds of times in the comments ever since I started this beatbox journey. A lot of you think he's the best ever, the bestest, greatest thing. A lot of the comments said that it doesn't matter what song you listen to of his, you will just be amazed. I also heard a little Roma through the grapevine that D'Lo might want advice about singing. I can do that. I would love that. Singing is my thing and beatboxing is not my thing yet. So like, Skillshare. <laughs> if I sing a little harmony, Will I ever get the chance to breathe? If I break it down with a B, A, will I ever get the chance to speak? If I sing singer. a little harmony, dirt, will oh. I ever get the chance to breathe? Dirt, if I break it down to a B, dirt, will I ever get the chance to speak? If I sing a little harmony, dirt, will I ever get the chance to breathe? If I break it down with a B, dirt. Will I ever get the pants to spin? He sings very well. It's got a lovely resonance to it and his pitch is immaculate. They know how to build you up, don't they? The thing is, when you have a 100% vocal performance, you don't have the luxury of bringing in loads of different instruments and different layers. You only have a certain amount of layers that you can do at one time, which is not many in terms of what you can produce simultaneously. So they have to be very, very clever with the arranging. Every single line has something extra to it, even a teeny weeny teeny bit extra, but there's always something more. Will I ever get the chance to breathe if I break it down with a B? If I sing a little harmony for dirt, if I break it down to a beat for dirt, if I sing a little harmony for dirt. It's like he's got a magician's hat full of surprises, but he pulls out like a little, I don't know, something that would obviously fit in a hat, like a little sock, but then all of a sudden he pulls out a dictionary. And then it's a rabbit, and then it's a giraffe. It gets more elaborate and surprising piece by piece. Which works so much better because if you whip out something massive too soon, then... Oh Christ, I know how that sounded, okay? If you bring out the big guns too early, it has less impact. <laughs> That's what I meant. I think the pitch is probably coming from the true vocal folds. But then he's using the lips as well to add an extra texture to it. Which makes loads of sense because you can get the lips to flap together loads of times, the same way that you can get the force folds to flap together loads of times. It's definitely helping to create that low resonance. There's <laughs> something to do with a little pocket here at the front that he's punching a bunch of air into. <laughs> you know like one of those things that your friend's little brother would have? One of those like air gun things. <laughs> he must have very warm wrists. If I sing a little palm and nip, boop. Will I ever get the pants to speak in bob? With a pretty pound pivot, beep, babe. Will I ever get the chance to speak? Oh, nice. Will I ever get the chance to If I break it down, <laughs> love a musical breath. Breathe. <gasps> so he's had to be very clever here because he's had to choose special unicorn magic sounds that suit the vowels that he needs to produce to comprise the word. Like when he goes for down, he chose that specific bass because the functions of producing that bass sound were coherent with an or. If I break it down, when he does the word chance, he chooses the little puff sound. That R oh, vowel requires a little bit more of an open space. Will I ever get the pants to spin? So of course, it doesn't sound exactly like the words chance and down, but it's close enough to the point where you can predict what they're saying. It's kind of like those little challenges where there's a big passage of text and then it tells you at the end, oh, did you realize that we left out this, 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 and this word? No, you didn't because brain science. 
If I sing a little. So when you add that extra layer of movement in here, at the same time as your actual true vocal folds close, it produces that extra rumble. Which you can then use the throat. You can manipulate the shape of the actual vocal tract itself to make those frequencies resonate lower and create that extreme bass effect. Will I ever get the pants to spin? If I spin a little palm my nip, oh. Will I ever get the pants to spin? Oh. If I break your pound, pivot, you break your pound, pivot, will I ever get the chance to spin? <laughs> 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 oh. <laughs> 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 Sorry, that was so good. Sing a little harmony, yeah. Will oh. I ever get the chance to speak, yeah? If I break it down with a beat, hey. Will I ever get the chance to speak? If His singing voice is gorgeous. I love the inflections. And he's very agile, which makes perfect sense because he's got to be super agile in here in every which way. Cool. So he's able to lift the posterior of the tongue, maintain a little bit of strength through the lateral borders, and then use the tip to kind of do the little telling off sound. It's so easy to miss how remarkable it is to do a little four on the floor kick and sing the phrase in between those beats at the same time. If I spring a little palm and nip, oh, will I ever get the pants to speaking? Oh. Wow, we're so used to hearing that combination. I've been hanging on the bone, I've been sleeping all alone, I won't kiss you. He's got to think about how to punch it inside his melody, which is why you're occasionally hearing ever as like Bever. Obviously the biggest challenge of that is bloody breathing in between it. There's a technique called circular breathing that uh, didgeridoo players use where they like constantly have this cycle of air. That was the best one yet. And it's probably a similar thing that these guys do as well. But then you can see at the end here, he was going a bit red because he literally didn't have any time to breathe at all. And it was handy that his last note was like a spoo. Having no breath probably helped that come out really cool as well. <laughs> That's a really cool example how you can make the same vocal sound so exciting by one, moving the tongue in for the second one, and then just a little tap tap of the larynx to make that sound land harder. Tap it in, give it a little tappy. Tap, tap, tap a room. It gives it kind of like a sliding down a tube effect, which is kind of what's happening because you temporarily make the space smaller. So you get a little small voice and then you come out the other end where it's big again. <laughs> oh, that was nice. When you poke the tongue out to the side, you suddenly get a much higher frequency at the top. <laughs> See, it just changes the sound just a little bit. If I break it down with a beat, Hey, will I ever get the chance to speak? If I sing a little harmony for dirt, will I ever get the chance to speak? Dirt, if I break it down to ever be for dirt, will I ever get the chance to speak? One more time. Bring a little okay. harmony, bring a little pump, break it down, pin dirt, break it down, pin dirt, bring a pedal pump, bring a pedal pump, break it down, break it down, break it down, break it down, jam, 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 jam. Will I ever get the chance to speak? Oh. 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 baffling i have absolutely no idea i need a long time with this one how many notes are even in that oh my gosh if it's like there's two notes right next to each other or something is that it oh cracky i don't know i could hear this another hundred times and have a physical sensation of 
Whatever this is. <clears throat> no, it's not that. I, I have no idea what it is. I am thrilled and enthused to discover what it could be. I can't even see any visual clues, really. <laughs> it's got to be the most fascinating mouth I have ever witnessed. We can achieve multiple notes at the same time. It's something that's widely known and usually we tap into something called the um, overtone series and those overtones occur from a root note. So if we hold but you can see how those are sort of they sort of make more harmonic sense but this is different. This is like notes that are so close together and so dissonant. I just want to go in and have a look so bad. Of all of the sounds I've ever heard anyone make, this is the one I want to do the most. Help me. Sing a little harmony. Du, du, du. <laughs> oh my gosh! The plop made it for me. The cherry on the unicorn. Mm. The bass sounds are the biggest mystery to me. They're so magical and unique and there's so many kinds. The general gist of a lot of these bass sounds are a very wide open vocal track. That's what gives it the bassy resonance. And then from there, you can just move all different kinds of stuff. There's so much tissue to flap, especially the pitchless basses, because for example, if we know we have a very specific note like this, the voice has very specific requirements to make a consistent pitch, but when it's the pitchless basses, like, uh, there is just limitless potential almost because you can shape the track in whatever magical shape you like. And as long as you rattle something in there, you're gonna get a big hollow sound. The limit does not exist. I've run out of words. Just ride this wave with me. We're gonna get to the bottom of all this unicorn once and for all. We've only just begun. Answers are on their way. So the Raven of Reflection says, Oh, this one's deep. <laughs> Can you believe that? Your happiness right now depends solely on you. Don't put that power in someone else's hands. Claw back that energy you gave out so freely. Get back in the driving seat of your life, honey bun. Spend time working out who the f you are. Ugh. Thank you so much for watching today's video. I hope you enjoyed this as much as I enjoyed making it. If there are any singers or indeed beatboxers that you would like to see me analyze, please do let me know down below in the comments as it is always my pleasure. Have a wonderful day, I love you so much and I cannot wait to see you again next time. Bye. Oh sh Oh no. <laughs> when I do uh, singing lessons and I um, think of a good exercise, I write them on tissues and that was the tissue I just started to use for my spilled tea. What a palaver. Nothing to see here.